thank you for <laughs> um, going above and beyond to make sure that <laughs> the library was able to, I'm sorry, <laughs> I didn't expect to <laughs> get up. Um, oh. Can we come back, <laughs> come back to that? I was downtown at a conference and I received a call from my office manager. She never calls me, she always texts me. So as soon as I saw her name on the caller ID, I knew something terrible had happened. I answered the phone and she said that the library was flooding. I kept saying, how bad is it? And she said, it's bad. And I, all I could say is I'm on the way. I, I knew it had to be terrible. Their response was immediate. Um, it was reassuring to know that we had such caring, competent people on, on site. And I knew that they would help me uh, get started with the disaster relief. And that was an enormous assurance. Well, when Lindsay called and said she had something important to tell me, I got a little nervous at first. I thought, oh gosh, what, would we, what do we do or not do? And so when she came over and, and told me that, you know, we were going to be the recipients of the Times Award, I was, I was a little bit taken back and of course flattered uh, because these guys, um, that's what they do every day. And so it's, it's just another day at the office for them. So I mean, it's just, they do these things every day. And so for the one incident that you hear about uh, like this to get some press and some media coverage, there's countless others that you don't hear about. Um, and so these guys don't come to work to be recognized uh, or receive awards and things like that. They come because they're here to serve and that's in their heart. And so, um, but to be recognized every now and then, you know, when you do something and somebody says, well, thank you or presents you with an award, it, you know, it's nice, uh, but they don't do it for that reason. You know, they do it because they have servants' hearts and that's their job, that's what they're here for. We don't ever, people don't usually call the fire department for celebrations. Uh, you know, they usually call the fire department at their worst time, their time of need. Uh, and so we see, we generally go and we see people at their worst. And so we really have to be trained and diligent in dealing with people and learning people skills. Uh, and in particular, like the library incident, uh, we have to know how to get people out of a state of depression or anxiety and make them know that everything's gonna be okay, even in their time of need, even on their worst day. Uh, we've got to assure them and let them know that we're there for them and that everything's going to be okay. Our firemen have a servant's hearts and, and they were there, you know, first of all, to make sure that the building was safe and second of all, to make sure that we started our disaster response and I had the information that I needed. It's not like a job. These guys really don't have a job. It's, it's almost like being a Boy Scout on steroids. They get to come in here and do what they love to do uh, what they were born to do is to serve. And so when they get calls like this or calls for something else, it's just their heart, it's what they do. They stepped up at a time um, and went above and beyond anything that could be reasonably expected. Um, they, uh, particularly being willing to loan us the Overton facility and not just okay, you're, you can use the building, but we'll help you get it ready. They, again, above and beyond what would have been expected. And at a time when um, I didn't even know, really, until after the fact, all of the things that they had done to help us. And we, we only had about two weeks to, to do all of those things. Yeah, I wanna make sure that we thank the library, uh, the library board, and everybody that was responsible for, uh, you know, for recognizing the fire department, again, it's, it was kind of a shock to us. It's not, we don't do it for that. But, uh, you know, to be recognized, you know, I appreciate it. All the members of the department appreciate it. And it's, uh, it's very flattering and humbling to us to, you know, to be honored this way. <laughs>